Hey class, it's uh, Professor Nick Sensky, uh, UNC Charlotte, and uh, I'll show you another version of uh, how to create um, a non-regular uh, parametric surface. So again, this is different than the divide surface technique that I've been showing. Um, this is similar to the question I was asked in class. This is an alternate technique to dividing it using um, the graph editor. Um, you can start off with uh, a line, and it can be a parametric line, but I'm just going to draw uh, a regular line. And I'm going to reference that uh, as a curve. Okay, so hide that. Then I can do something like I can take a series and I can move it in uh, the X. Okay, so like the thing that we've been seeing lately. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add some sliders to to that. Um, let's see here. So give it a number of things. And give it um, some kind of a distance. Okay, so let's shorten that up a bit. So let's say I have a lot of things and I want to I want to create a, you know kind of a kind of a pattern with that, and then I want to make that into a surface. So what if I did something where <clears throat> I did like call pattern, and I took these as a list, and I'm interested in in like this this kind of pattern between things. Like I, I don't I don't just want to um, I want to have like a like a something between these two and then you know here and then these two and then here so let's just for now let's 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 start by by thinking about this kind of pattern okay and imagine if i if i created a pattern across this and then i subdivided it again um in the y um that might be a little bit different than what we're seeing so can you can you create a surface from that pattern that's parametric uh and you can and uh the way to do that um there's this command called um edge surface and what an edge surface is, is that if you give it two curves uh, or three curves or four, it, it attempts to create a surface across those. And what we're going to do is, instead of just lofting across all these, we're going to ask the computer to take this one and, and loft it to this one, or I mean, make an edge surface from this one to this one, and then make an edge from this one to this one, and then make an edge surface from this one to this one, and so on until we're, until we're done. Okay. So we have a list of curves, and we can plug that in for A. But what we need to do though is we need we need to get that second list. So we have this list of all these, and then we need a list that actually starts here, and then kind of proceeds so that this one's going to go to that one and so forth. So what we do is a component called shift list. So we take the list in. So if this list has ten, this list is going to have nine. Okay. So you can see like when I okay so these all turn. Um, turn this off here. These all turn green. Now only nine of them turn green. So if I put this in, and lo and behold, we actually get the surface. Now, you, you probably observed that I've lost some, some surfaces on the end. Uh, you know, again, you just, it's gonna be different depending upon what the parameters are, okay? So we might need to add more copies, we might need to change the color pattern, but for right now, let's just stick with the idea that this is different than what we've seen before. Like there's definitely a pattern uh, here. And you can do this with any pattern of lines. Like once you get the lines, just take that list of those lines and then shift it and then make an edge surface. And that's gonna create the first uh, uh, side of that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide, now we're gonna take those surfaces and we're gonna divide those, um, divide domain the way that we've been seeing, okay? And then we're gonna do um, a, uh, an ISO trim. So now we're gonna take this, this stuff that we know how to do. And we're gonna apply now, you notice oh, we have a thousand values. So something, so, we're creating uh, an awful lot of surfaces and then we're putting them in and it's dividing all of them in the U and all of them in the V. And so each one of these is getting divided a hundred times. So 10 times a hundred is a thousand. We don't really want that. So what I'm gonna do is, is that this is my V axis, the lines that I used, okay? So I actually, I'm sorry, my U axis, I only need like one in the U. Okay, so that's gonna take care. So now it's down to a manageable uh, size, okay? And um, then I'm going to add my number slider, which is going to be the number of V parameters. And let's just give it 20 or 
or something like that. If I plugged in from a V, plug my surface in. So you can see that there's something happening here. These there's there's a bug in like the the like data tree, and it looks like I've got yeah I've got ten services and forty domains. Like something's happening in the data tree. It's getting it's getting overly um, complicated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to um, graph these, and what that's going to do is that's going to create um, ten kind of ten kind of arrays. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, divide those by four. So 10, 40, and we get 40 services. And that's about right. Okay. And um, we haven't talked about data trees yet, but I'm going to go ahead and flatten that. So now I have a list of 40 services. Okay. So again, I needed to take those 10, put them inside of um, a data container, and then divide those 10 by four segments. And that's going to give me a nice, healthy, um, subdivision for that okay so that's a pretty regular subdivision if you wanted to you could use the graph mapper uh, logic that I talked about and uh, do something with this domain or do something with with the domain of this surface and divide it up that's a little bit complicated but I'll leave it to you to understand so again this is a way you know using uh, curves you know that we can um, create um, different kinds of rhythms in the way that we uh, create our, our services. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in class. But um, so now we've seen an, another method, uh, one based on curves for how we can divide up our, our panels, okay? I hope that helps, I'll uh, see you around.